Hi guys, Leanne here. Um, I just wanted to make a really, really quick video. Um, you've probably noticed that I uploaded one um, earlier. Well, it was already uploaded, but I hadn't made it public. So my bad, sorry about that. That's why it's from, I think it's from Tuesday or Monday. So my apologies. <laughs> I just noticed it sat there. I was like, whoops. Um, but yes, so um, I just wanted to come in and just do a very quick talk. Um, we're not having a what I eat in a day, we're just having a quick talk. Um, because I'm personally struggling with sticking to plan at the moment. What's the word? We discussed this the other day. I'm struggling with fully food optimizing at the moment. Some might say food optimizing at all. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to put a little thing out there for anyone else who is struggling because it's okay and we're going to get our mojo back. Um, I am committing to being with you tomorrow, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and so on. I'm, I'm just making a video to commit to that right now because I kind of need that in my head, you know. Um, and also, um, I don't like to think if anyone is struggling that like I'm not here as well you know so um that's that now I just to illustrate how I'm struggling and I wasn't going to post this clip but um I've just seen a comment come in and it made me feel like I want to share how I felt last night so I'm just going to insert a little clip here um from last night I'm actually it's actually a happy five right now and I'm on my way out the door to Slimming World um, I know I've got a big gain this week. Um, I'm not happy about it. It's entirely expected though. <laughs> I've had a crap week of eating. Uh, no, not week, as in, you know, between ways. Um, so really it's three bad days. Not bad days, sorry. No, it is. They are bad. I'm sorry, they are bad. <sighs> because I ate... Uh, all the bad foods you know and they were bad foods they weren't good foods they didn't make me feel good they haven't done my weight any favors and i know this because i've just been on the scales i'm wearing a heavier top today as well um this is one of my super thin hoodies that i found which are perfect for me for the summer so i'm still covered up because like i'm still a bit self-conscious in it because i don't like only wearing one layer really um but <laughs> You know, it's better than nothing. So like, yeah. <laughs> um, but I love the colour. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have a thin hoodie to wear instead of just like sweltering in a thick one. So that's good. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm like, I'm not wearing a top under this. So I'm just going to wear in this one today. Um, and, but I weighed compared to a normal t-shirt. Um, it's just that I don't have one clean that's like ready to wear <laughs> that I normally would wear you know um so um yeah there's only like half a pound or a pound difference in weight for this so um it'll show me a slightly heavier but nothing that would make any difference compared to the gain I'm expecting so um yeah basically I'm not looking forward to group at all I am going because I really need to get out of this like slump I'm in I'm really I've really lost my mojo and that doesn't really help you guys <laughs> or me <laughs> most not most importantly sorry I'm not saying I'm more important <laughs> I just mean for me <laughs> it doesn't help me <laughs> um, and then in turn that then I, I I don't show you useful things or give you encouraging content um which you know it's nice for us all to share and collaborate so yeah I'm feeling pretty shit about myself right now I'm not gonna lie um and I just Oh, for God's sake, <laughs> I just, I just need to find my mojo back. <laughs> oh crap, I'm going to cry and group, aren't I? Great. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Um, come on. <laughs> right, okay, I'm right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm just annoyed at myself, really, for, like, just not having the willpower right now. And not only that, but, like, almost deliberately sabotaging myself. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it, which, you know, is one of those things where it's like, well, how are you going to stop doing something if you don't know why you're doing it? But, oh, for God's sake, I've got a pink nose now where I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, 
dear. Anyway, um, on that cheerful note, <laughs> let's go get weighed and have to sit there embarrassedly in group. <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, obviously I was a little bit emotional and it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard going to group last night, but it was absolutely the best thing I could have done. Um, and, I, and I want you guys, if any of you are on Slimming World and you're having that same struggle, like it's okay, you can still go to group. No one's gonna judge you. And if they do, that says more about them than it does about you, okay? So you know that going to group is even if you gain a stone on those scales, if you gain two stone, if you gain three stone, do you know what? The important thing is, is that you've shown up to group. You've taken that step because it shows that you still want to be on this journey. And do you know what? That's exactly why I went to group last night. And that's exactly why I'm making this video for you now, because we all need encouragement and we can all support each other. Okay. I appreciate not everyone who watches my channel is on Slimming World or even vegan, but, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we can all just support each other, okay? So please don't worry. I went last night, I had a gain of five and a half pounds. I was not expecting a gain of five and a half pounds. I was expecting slightly smaller than that. Um, but I was wearing this top, um, which is a bit heavier than my normal one. Um, so yeah, may maybe like a pound more, but oh well. <laughs> but the point was, I mean... <laughs> You know, it was bad when the 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 lady on the scales was a different one to normal. It's actually a new member uh, or newish member. Um, there was some logistics issues last night uh, with the group. It was a really weird one, actually. Um, I stopped myself walking out several times, I'll have you know, and I stayed for the whole thing. So there we go. Um, but yeah, she, uh, she literally just didn't even say anything to me when she took my weight. She just wrote it down and gave the book back to me. I was just like, oh wow. I mean, I already knew because you know me, I always, I know all my numbers, I'm there. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, wow, okay, that's, uh, mm. um, Anyway, and then our consultant last night was not the normal uh, consultant. It was like the one who stands in when she's not here, which was confusing because the normal consultant was in the back giving a new members talk to six new members, one of which was returning, and then left before the actual group um, image therapy started. So that was weird. Um, the stand-in lady did say, who I don't know her name, but um, she's done it before. She remembered my name. <laughs> from before so I feel really bad <laughs> whoops but I was I was I was very um inwardly focused last night you know and you know when you're sort of taking all your energy to like just maintain composure <laughs> so um that was that so um yeah so when she got to me um she actually did something really interesting which I wasn't expecting I'm saying interesting as a more positive framing of a different word that I would like to use. But what she actually said was, you've had a gain this week. Now, normally, the way they're supposed to phrase it is, you haven't had a loss this week. So I was a little bit shocked to hear the words come out of her mouth. Now, you know, obviously, I knew I had a gain. I knew how much it was, etc, etc. And I was sort of mentally trying to prepare myself for that moment where I was going to have to sort of be in front of, you know, speak in front of everyone, although it was not a busy group last night, but there were five new people that stayed. Um, so that was a bit embarrassing having to sort of <laughs> speak up in front of them. Um, but um, yeah, it was, it was, it was just a bit like of a shock to hear the words, you know, you've had a gain. It's like, sorry <laughs> but she said it in a nice way she went she went are you you know do you know why that isn't things and I sort of said yeah and actually I'm going to share with you guys um what I said because you know maybe it will help you or not maybe it's just me ranting into the ether um but basically I said yeah so the the honest truth is obviously I had uh what did I have like a couple of weeks off did I have three weeks off something like that when I was having my big stress time um which is all officially completely 100% done and over now um but I said to her it almost feels like a stress hangover so like I still feel like I'm not functioning normally and that my routine isn't back to normal and um so I said, you know, I'm still, I'm still trying and, you know, 
she said she was like oh no well you did the most important thing you came to group etc and then everyone applauded so of course i'm there like trying really hard not to cry because <laughs> it is you know i'm sure you guys know the feeling um you know i'm a bit of a crier anyway <laughs> my emotions are always just simmering just there but um but yeah i managed not to sob because um you know, I was just trying so hard not to, <laughs> you know, and your voice goes all tight and you're trying not to and you're going red in the face and you're like, no, I'm just going to keep talking. I'm going to talk through it. So yes, I'm just talking like this. <laughs> so I managed it just about. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was excruciatingly, excruciatingly embarrassing, but also it wasn't. That was just my interpretation of it. Really, no one cared. No one knew how much weight I put on and I didn't say how much weight I'd put on. Um, I'm embarrassed about it and I hate it but those are my feelings and it's because of my actions that that's occurred <laughs> so I just want to really encourage anyone who is doing Slimming World if you know you're going to get a gain just go to group if you need to you can say to the consultant I really don't want to talk in group today. Can you please just skip over me? Just don't even read my name out. And they will do that. They have to do that. That's part of the whole thing. So just, just make that clear to them. Um, or text them beforehand if you have, or, or on Messenger, because most places have their own local Facebook groups or message messengers. So, you know, just contact them either beforehand or when you're in group and just say, I don't want to talk. But if you do talk, then it might, just give you that little opportunity to have a little think about what's going on. Like I said, I when I was speaking to um, the standing consultant, I sort of said my problem, oh, I just got that welling up feeling again. <laughs> Don't worry, no more crying. Um, I'll save that for a moment. Um, when I was speaking, I said the problem is that I'm not entirely sure why I'm really struggling right now um, because technically I should be like, cool, everything's good. Let's get back to normal. But the honest answer is that I've just lost my routine. And um, so I, I probably just need to accept that it's going to be really difficult and I'm going to have to summon every little bit of willpower that I've got and just do it because there's now multiple days I had that one good day that I've uploaded that I made live earlier. But between that, yeah, there's, I mean, that's the best part of a week, I think, if you add up all the days. So that's not good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I need to accept that. I just need to get all my willpower together and just follow the plan. Stop eating crap. You know, junk food, treaty food, whatever you want to call it um high calorie high fat food you know however you want to describe it in your head um and get on with it so if you want to join me then this is your call to arms we can do this and we can do it together um i'm gonna work on trying to get the discord live tonight um because i think that would actually be a valuable time to have it so we can have real time or you know semi real time uh, available chat um which i think is nice um i also would like uh to show you guys something that i found in the magazine which i bought last night uh which is actually in the other room so i'll show you that momentarily um i'll just go and get it okay so the article in the magazine um which you can buy a group or in shops but it's cheaper if you buy it if you're a member in group you get like a quid off or something um I, I do tend to buy the magazine. I don't always read them, um, but I do tend to buy them because I just find them, they're just kind of useful um, to have <laughs> when you're having a bad week. But anyway, here's the article, how to turn your red flags green. Um, and it's kind of drawing a comparison between red flags and relationships and stuff, you know, all the stuff you see on social media. Um, and it's uh, saying like, what are your red flags in relation to Slimming World? So there's red flag thoughts and they're basically really bad thought patterns. This kind of ties in with what we were talking about the other day. Um, and there's uh, a couple of good examples. Um, there's two that I'm going to like read. So one of them is like the thought might be I'm being really good this week. 
and this is actually a bad statement or a negative statement um and it says this the trouble with good is that the flip side is bad which leads to self-criticism try switching this to i'm really enjoying my free food this week can you sit feel how the pressure lifts okay so that's one of them and the other one that I'm going to read because all the others are a bit specific but the, this one is one that I often think to myself I'm hopeless I've got to sort myself out okay so that's the red flag and it says challenge this harsh self-talk is it really true of course not this is just a low moment, so be kind and praise yourself for keeping on, keeping on. It's a bit of a wishy-washy answer. The first one's better, but there's also uh, two examples over the page, which I will read you. So again, in the magazine, they've got this page, which has got three spaces for you to write down which we can all do because we don't need, you know, this layout, but you could write down what your thought is that's very, you know, could be quite damaging, I guess. And you could think of a way to phrase it better. So here's another two examples. The red thought is I'll never be able to stick to food optimizing. And it says, while the thought of change can be scary, Slimming World is all about small switches that gradually add up to make a big difference, like using low calorie cooking spray instead of oil or getting off the bus a stop early as a way of sneaking in a little more activity into your day. So then you could, instead of saying, I'll never be able to stick to food optimizing, your green flag would be, I'll take things one day at a time, focus on taking small achievable steps and pat myself on the back when I do. I think that's a really important one. I think we could all do that a bit more and that doesn't apply just to Slimming World, that applies to life as well. So listen up. <laughs> and then um, another one, which is a really common one, is sins don't count the night after a weigh-in. Now this is untrue, obviously, all <laughs> sins and calories add up, um, but a very common thing is people are like, I'm just going to have a treat because it's like the night after because I've just weighed in, etc. It's the longest time till the next weigh. But the fact is you're still putting calories into your body. Um, so what it says is, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a magic wand that could make this true? Instead, think about putting a strategy in place for after you've been to group, rather than risk sabotaging your next week's weight loss from the get go. Um, and this is actually one that you guys have seen me do quite a lot. Um, I'll maybe use quite a lot of sins on the night and I may use them for a more treaty thing. Um, I quite often have like a big bowl of cheesy pasta um, on way day night and um, you know, it's still totally food optimizing, but um, you know, I just <laughs> uh, do it on the way night, you know what I mean? Anyway, the green flag compared to that is I'll stick to free food during the day today so I can enjoy my sins when I get home after group, which is essentially what I was getting at. So hopefully that's given you a bit of inspiration. All right, so hopefully um, we've all had a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> and um, like I said, I'm going to do my very best to try and get the Discord running up and running tonight in a very basic form, but nonetheless there. And I will put out a community message with the invite link with that, um, with that on. I've just said that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got a place to chat. So if you don't have Discord, download it, sign up. It's free. And then you will need an invite link to join the server, which, like I said, as soon as I get it up and running, I'll stick a community post in and then you can join. OK, so hope you feel better. I feel a bit better talking to you guys. And tomorrow, Thursday, is it Thursday tomorrow? No, it's Thursday today, isn't it? Oh, my God. Just lost a day. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> um, we are going to be so on it, guys. We are going to be food optimizing and enjoying our free food and just having a generally good old time. Okay, let's do this. See you later.